So I'm a mathematician. I'm interested in really four things. And the last one, but most important one, is um, cryptography. So I'm interested in combinatorics, discrete math. I'm interested in error correcting codes and abstractions of error correcting codes, for example, things that are used for high dimensional numerical integration and simulation. I'm interested in optimization and in algorithms. But also, I'm very much interested in cryptography. So this is a fraction of what I do, but I think it's a very interesting thing to, to have people from other disciplines, for example, me in mathematics, to attack cryptography from, from your own perspective. So I have. Uh, I just checked, I had 13 MQPs in, in, in cryptography and quantum information theory, um, eight papers, uh, I have three grants from the National Security Agency and four grants with Professor Sunar. I get all my credibility by hanging out with uh, cryptographers and engineers. Um, so so in, in cryptography, we've worked a lot on, on random number generators. We did a lot of work with uh, General Dynamics Corporation to build uh, battlefield random number generators and true random number generators to sample true randomness at a high speed is not easy. And um, so we worked very hard on this and uh, Professor Sunar and I co-authored a paper that designed a random number generator and we found out later that it was used in the um, iPhone 7 for the Asian distribution of iPhone by, by Apple. So random number generators are, are an interesting thing for us. Then we got interested in things like resilient functions and uh, fuzzy extractors. How do you how do you extract information? How do you correct for errors when you can't control the code? That is, things like fingerprint reading and, and, um, and retina, uh, retina scans. Then later we got interested in, um, in physically unclonable functions. Um, how can a chip certify very quickly for you that it is the chip that you put in the device? How do we know that a US aircraft in the US military has the chip inside it, the communications chip that was actually put inside it and not it put it inside it at construction and not some chip that was unvetted, bought cheaply on the internet by some maintenance person years later and, and, and accidentally installed in a very secure um, situation. And then most recently we've been interested in homomorphic encryption. And so we're interested in encryption schemes which have the property that if you, in, 